people, welcome to Perth Watch, your horology channel broadcasting from right here in Perth, Western Australia. Today I have the latest Pagani design to come across my grubby hands. Typical box here, it's a little bit of friction actually, it's probably about a 3 out of 5 on the spinability scale. Cardboard with a bit of felt inside. You know, a little bit of silvery there to give you a bit of imputation of luxury. Polishing cloth, and just get rid of that. Uh, manual, which is generic and uh, kind of covers a wide range of the uh, movements. Not going to go through that. And a guarantee card, which uh, I guess is good if you know you're trying to uh, sell this, and people ask you about box and papers, as if box and papers are worth any more than the cardboard. It is printed on in the majority of cases. Uh, I like it how it says, uh, you know, this warranty is no valid, no valid in case of accident or undue opening. In fact, this warranty uh, is no valid anyway and is no contact details whatsoever. So that's kind of interesting. Um, so nothing else about this, just a cushion there. And I'm going to open this watch and show it to you guys in closer detail here. So uh, this is the Pagani uh, Design PDYS003, otherwise known as the PT Time, maybe? I'm just reading the thing off the dial here, PT Time, whatever that means. Um, so Pagani Design, of course, I've reviewed a lot of these watches. Uh, I can't, I've basically lost track of how many I have done. You can kind of do a search on the channel to find out, uh, but they are usually or always homage watches up until this point. Uh, this one is somewhat original, which is actually quite refreshing and almost unbelievable when they offered uh, this on their site. You know, it's kind of like, what in the world are they doing? Something original, how refreshing. Uh, when you do a Google uh, lens search on this, the first thing that comes up, or one of the things that did come up, uh, was the Ulysse Nadon, Paul David Nadon version of the Classico. So, you know, maybe some cues were taken from there, but obviously that watch is quite a different one and this isn't a direct copy of anything that I'm aware of, which is really unusual for Pagani design, I have to say. Um, so, first up, just quickly about the movement, you know, yes, you guessed it, it is the NH35. Uh, the date window in this case is over the 6 o'clock position there, so they've changed out the disc, uh, it is still a black writing on white disc over there. The watch is running slightly fast, plus 14 seconds per day on the five days I've been running it, you know, which is still well within the stipulated range there. Moving on to the case then. Okay, so this one, uh, I'm gonna put up details there for you guys to read and just pan it around for you to see. Okay, just check it out. A fairly light watch uh, on the strap at only 76 grams. All right, finishing polished on the top, so fully polished bezel there. There's a little bit of a, I guess, concave uh, shape there on the bezel, polish on the top of the case. Longitudinal brush on the side, and then transitions again to polish on the bottom. This is actually not too bad. It's not quite up to, say, spinnaker level case, but, you know, at $90 or slightly less on sale, you can, you know, on sale, you can probably get this in the 70s or maybe even the 60s on deep sale. This is actually a pretty darn good case and definitely better than, say, for example, Caddison. I think that's just a little bit more solid. Circular brush on the case back there, solid screw down the case back with, I think that's supposed to be some sort of uh, maritime motif. No explanation whatsoever, but that's what it looks like to me. Uh, surprisingly, this is actually also a screw down sign crown. Right, actually solid screw down, and they've actually rated this at 200 meters, which is kind of odd actually, but you know, there we go, that's what it's rated at. Moving on to the dial now. So what we have here is a matte white dial. It's got printed details, you know, the Pagani design, the PT time, uh, the chapter ring, you know, vintage railroad style chapter ring around the periphery, but it's got applied matte blue uh, numerals and indices, which is kind of cool. So there's a little, like it's a, polygon in the sea at the edge uh, on the tram line outside the numeral, so jewel applies there. Uh, the main hands are polished blue leaf hands, and then you've got a uh, polished blue stick for the seconds hand here. No limb on this watch, which is kind of a dress style watch, and I don't mind that they have not 
put loom uh, on this watch. In fact, usually leaf hands will not have loom. Above the watch is a uh, domed sapphire crystal, and yes, it has been tested with uh, my crystal tester, diamond tester, and it is a domed sapphire. Uh, not too much on anti-reflective coating there. It does reflect a bit, but you know, I do like dome, the slight distortion on extremes of view that you can see there. We want to strap then. This is a dark blue, pretty nice, you know, deep blue stitched alligator pattern uh, with a buckle, which is not just a simple little thing, but you know, it's got jewel finish, which I really appreciate. You can see there's a polished bevel uh, with that brush part of that buckle there being the main surface, but there is a polished bevel there. So I, I do appreciate the little thought there actually. And this strap, you know, for a watch at this price, Quite possibly the best one I've seen actually for a watch at this price. Actually, not too bad a strap at all. There's a bit of, you know, substantial padding on the proximal bits here. Okay, guys. So that's the description. Let's put it on the wrist for a wrist shot for you guys now. And there you go, guys. The Pagani Design Dress Style PT Time on my 17 centimeter wrist. And this uh, is actually large for a dress watch, right? So remember, the thickness is 12 millimeters or thereabouts with a very long or rather long lug to lug of 48.5. I'm still able to carry it, but it is definitely large with a substantial wrist presence for a dress style watch. Okay, and that's how that strap looks like on the wrist. Okay, that's the watch guys. So what uh, do I like about this? What, what do I think is good about this? Well, I gotta say an original design Pagani design what in the world, what the heck, at long last they have given one and I appreciate it, you know, for all the, all the homage slash copies they have done finally to give us this, I, I like it. You know, there are vague component similarities to other pieces, right? So you, you've seen all these design elements before, but as far as I know, this is not a direct copy of anything and that is cool. Uh, the, the casework, I have to say, is solid, you know, I did mention this, this is pretty darn solid, you know, not, it's just not, not going to be as sharp as a $2,000 watch, but hey, for under 100, this is quite possibly as good as it gets, I reckon. And you know, you're getting 200 meter water resistant rating here, getting Sapphire, Seiko NH35, and not a Brad strap at all. Uh, if you can pick this up for, you know, under, under 80, say, uh, this is, this is pretty good. In comparison, of course, you can pick up watches uh, with, you know, ceramic rotating bezels, but hey, for a dress style watch, uh, this is better than any of those kind of no-name Chinese brands, I have to say. The, the feel in hand is a step better. Uh, I think, you know, why would you pick this up? I, it's probably, it's for the person who wants a big dial dress style watch. So this isn't a strict dress watch. This is more a, I suppose, a smart casual watch. Um, and you're not afraid to, you know, you want something that's not afraid to get wet with 200 meter water rating, this might be the piece. What are the negatives? Well, look, I, I think the high water rating is somewhat odd. You know, would you really swap this out to a NATO or rubber? I don't think so. I, I, I wouldn't. It's just a bit odd. You know, why did they push to have that done? Maybe give us a cheaper price with only 50 meters. That's probably okay for a dress style watch. It is actually a little bit too large for a proper dress piece. You wouldn't wear uh, a 41 millimeter dress watch uh, most of the time if you're, you're strictly black tie. 38 millimeter would be a great option. Uh, Pagani, I would like to see you offer us that. So guys, there you go. That's uh, my quick review on this piece. Let's flip it around now for the wrap up. So there you go guys, I hope you enjoyed that quick fire review. Let me know your thoughts and comments below. Always look forward to the discussion from my viewers. Guys, if you enjoy my videos, do consider subscribing. New content every week, always aiming to be objective and unbiased about all things horology. Thank you again for sticking with me and as always, I'll catch you guys again next time.